Hi, so in this video we are going to learn about factorial, permutations and combinations. Permutations and combinations are interrelated, one can be derived from other and factorial is actually used in the notations of permutation and combinations so that is why we are learning all these three things together, right? So before we proceed, let me take one example. Suppose we have 10 places and at the same time we have 10 choices of people who can occupy these places. That means one person cannot sit at two or more places. It can occupy only one place, right? So if we try to fill this first place, first from the left, we have total 10 choices, right? Similarly, if we want to fill this second place, now we will have total 9 choices to fill this place because the person which has already occupied this first place cannot come over here. Right? And now if we want to fill this third place, we will have total 8 choices to fill this place. Similarly, we will have total 7 choices to fill this place, 6 choices to fill this, 5 choices for this place, 4 for this, 3 for this place, 2 for this place and 1 for this place. These will be the number of choices available for these particular places. Right? We can start from anywhere but Again, we will have same type of choices. The first place which we want to fill will have 10 choices. Then the second place will have 9 choices. Third place will have 8 choices. And the fourth will have 7. And then we will have 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 choices for the remaining places. Right? And as we know, all these places have to be filled. Right? So the total number of choices or the total number of possibilities will actually be equal to the product of all these choices, right? That means 10 multiplied by 9, multiplied by 8, multiplied by 7, multiplied by 6, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 4, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2 and multiplied by 1. And this will be equal to 3, 6, 2, 8, 8, 0, 0. It is 3,628,800. It's a very big number. So we have a notation to represent the multiplication or the product of 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 6 till 1. It is represented as 10 factorial or it is represented as factorial of 10. So this is how we represent the product of 10 with all the natural numbers which are smaller than 10, right? That is 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 7 till it is multiplied by 1, right? Or suppose if you have a natural number n, then product of n with all the natural numbers smaller than this will actually be represented as n factorial or it is also represented as factorial of n. So the factorial of 1 will be equal to 1 and factorial of 0 is also equal to 1. These are the two important things which you have to remember, right? Factorial of 1 is 1 and factorial of 0 is also equal to 1. So if we have 10 places and we have 10 people to occupy these 10 places, the total number of ways in which these 10 places can be occupied by these 10 people is actually equal to factorial of 10. This is when the number of places and number of things which occupy the places are same. So suppose if you have n places and n number of things then the total ways in which these n places can be occupied by these n number of things will be equal to factorial n. Right? But suppose if you have total 4 places and you have 10 things or 10 people to occupy these four places. Then how many ways these four places can be occupied? So let us keep these four places. This is the first place, this is the second place, this is the third place and this is the fourth place. And let me erase all these places which are coming after this. So for first place we will have 10 choices and for second place we will have 9 choices and for third place we will have 8 choices and for the fourth place we will have 7 choices. And since all these four places are supposed to be filled, the total number of ways in which these places can be filled will be actually 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 7, right? And what is this? This is nothing but the 10 factorial which is 
10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 divided by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 and what is this? This is nothing but 10 factorial divided by 6 factorial and how do we get the 6? The 6 is nothing but 10 minus 4 right? So this becomes 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 4 factorial right? So suppose if you have r number of places and you have n people or things so the total number of ways to fill these r places using n people will actually be n factorial divided by n minus r factorial and this will be equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 multiplied by n minus r plus 1 right and this is what we call as permutation here the order of things or the ways in which you can arrange the things is important and this is represented as n p r or it is also represented as permutation of n objects for r number of places right so these are the two ways in which the permutation is represented and this actually represents the number of arrangements possible of n number of things for r number of places so this is what the permutation where the arrangement is important and now let's talk about the combinations so we have learned that this permutation is actually the arrangement and now we are going to talk about combination combination is nothing but the selection in arrangement the order of things also matters but in selection the order of things actually does not matter so suppose if we have total n number of things and we are selecting r number of things out of these n number of things then the total possible selections will be represented as n c r the c represents combination right so you are selecting r number of things out of n number of things then n c r will actually represent the number of ways in which you can select r number of things out of n number of things and these r number of things can be arranged in r factorial ways so first you select and then you arrange and this will actually represent n p r and this will represent the total number of ways in which you can select and arrange r number of things out of n available things right so what will be the formula for n c r or what will be the formula for combination the formula for combination that is NCR will actually be equal to NPR divided by R factorial and this can be written as 1 by R factorial multiplied by NPR and the value of NPR was N factorial divided by N minus R factorial right so this is the formula to find the combinations of selecting r things out of n things and this is n factorial divided by r factorial multiplied by n minus r factorial so this is the formula for the combination and this was the formula for permutation right and this is the relation between combinations and permutation Right? I have derived this formula using the formula of permutation. In this way, it will be easier to remember how these things are related. Right? So this was all about permutations, combinations and factorial. And in next video, we are going to learn the special cases related to permutations. So keep watching MathSmart and bye-bye till then.